Well, hello everybody. Today we have a beer review. The beer I will be reviewing today is Keystone Ice. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Natural Ice. I always get those two confused. Uh, natural Ice, it is an ice beer, 5.9% alcohol by volume. Uh, I have myself a 16 fluid ounce can that I purchased from the local Walgreens. Uh, it was in fact only $4.99 for six of these cans, so a pretty good price I must say. The only beer that I know of cheaper than that is Ham's, which comes in at $4 for a six pack of 16 ounces. So a very good price on the natural ice. Um, it's ice brewed, obviously, given the name, meaning that after the beer is brewed, they skim off ice in order to concentrate the beer. And then as far as I know, they actually, after skimming the ice off, dilute the beer with carbonated water because after they skim the ice off, uh, I've heard that it's like around 15% ABV, so they have to further dilute it after that. I'm not sure if that's the case with this one, but I've heard that the, that's how they do it with other ice beers. Um, it is a lager, a pale lager, brewed and canned by Anheuser-Busch in St. Louis, Missouri. And um, yeah, let's uh, give this a crack and pour it into a, a glass. There, you can hear how it sounds. Wow, what a crack. Look at that, uh, wow, beautiful smoke. I'm not sure if uh, the camera actually caught that. <laughs> but really beautiful smoke coming off of this beer, I must say. All right, let me show you the pour. I'll back up a little here, make sure it's in frame. Give it a nice, moderately paced pour. So we can get some of that beautiful head. Wow, look at that. Amazing head on this beer. Mmm. White as snow, frothy, looks very appetizing, looks like sea foam, big delicious bubbles, and the beer itself is quite effervescent, I must say, although not as effervescent as, as other styles of beer. I would probably compare this to... Uh, the carbonation levels you find in soda pop, or soda, <laughs> as some call it. Um, yeah, and the color, you know, straw, hay, uh, you know, your typical Budweiser, you know, Coors color, your uh, pale lager, so. Yeah, well, let's see what it smells like. Well, uh, I'm getting some apple juice there. Some corn. It has a very beer-like smell to it. Not surprising as it is a beer. <laughs> Apricots. Um, yeah, a lot going on with this... Uh, a lot going on with this aroma, I must say. Well, with that, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Hmm. Well. It certainly is very refreshing. Very dry. A little sweetness, I guess. Although I doubt any children or 
even young people would find this very appealing, but <laughs> to a, uh, yeah, to a seasoned beer drinker, it does have a, a bit of sweetness to it, but overall it, it is quite dry. Uh, no real bitterness. I'm not even sure if, I'm not even sure if this beer was brewed with hops. If it was, you really can hardly taste them. It's mostly the, the grains that you taste. And um, huh, it's a bit noisy out there. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah. And I do feel compelled to give it another sip. Hmm. Yeah. Well, very crisp, refreshing, although given that it's 5.9% ABV, I would, I would suspect it actually has a dehydrating effect. So if you, if you are in fact thirsty, this might not be the most healthy choice. However, it will give you a nice, it'll give you the sensation of being refreshed. However, it will only... In actuality, it will only dehydrate you. <laughs> kind of a, not an oxymoron, but a, a catch-22, if you will, of these, of these refreshing beers. I, we've all heard how um, beer used to be uh, a replacement of water uh, for the peasants or just for the general population in certain areas during certain points in history, maybe like the medieval ages or the dark ages. And I always wondered that, but uh, according to my research, that beer that people would drink during those times was much, much weaker than the beers that we drink today. So uh, the beers that the children and everyone would drink back then were closer to 0.5% alcohol or 1% alcohol which um, is obviously much lower than the beers that we have today. So, yeah, I think if you uh, tried substituting a modern beer in for water, you might fall pretty ill, actually. <laughs> so, but they are very refreshing, I must say. Well, I think I'll have one more sip and then give you my final thoughts on this beer natural ice let's dive in hmm okay well I think it's pretty good it's not my favorite ice beer I would prefer uh, some other ones to this or some other malt liquors, I think, have a bit more flavor than this, but it is certainly uh, non-offensive, at least for a seasoned beer drinker. <laughs> so yeah, I would be inclined to give this one beer a 7 out of 10. So yeah, there you have it, folks. A 7 out of 10 for natural ice. Ugh. Well, that concludes this beer review, so until next time, see you all later. All.